Hi, this is Brother Bryce, and I'm here to show you how to lock down a page. Basically, uh, sometimes throughout a course, you might want to have the user um, look at all of the content throughout that whole page without moving forward and locking down that next button until they've clicked on, uh, say, all the tabs or all the interactions that you want to, um, like I say, before moving forward. So that's what I mean by locking down the page. Now um, we've made this these templates in mind for that purpose. Uh, right over here we have an, a variable that I'm resetting at the beginning of the of the page, but it will help you out in figuring out if you have finished the slide or not. Now um, now with this variable, each one of these tabs have a um, a letter assigned to it. So I'll show you what I mean. Here in tabs button group, there's a button, all right, tabs button, tab one button, and at the bottom of it, towards the bottom, we have a on click modify variable. Now this variable will add to the ELB19169 variable a letter uh, for for the tab one, it's letter A. For tab two, I'll show you the next one. It's letter B, right, right up here, and and so forth. And so, um, so then, now all you have to do here in each one of the clicks. So let's make a new action. Say add action on click. Um, show your uh, next button, whatever it is. Uh, we'll just say page button is our, our, uh, our page background is our uh, proxy next button, right? So show next button if ELB19169, uh, which is the number of the uh, template, by the way, contains let's see, contains the letter A, and then you'd want to do that for each one of them. So then contains uh, the letter B, and you'd go through and uh, you would put down as many as you have buttons for. So for this case, um, let's just do A through, A through C. Now we say OK. Press OK on that, and um, then let's go ahead and hide all these other tabs. So let's hide that, 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 that one, all those, right? And then view, and I have this uh, this method shown in the getting started tutorial but basically this will hide all the tab buttons that you're not going to be using and so if I'm just using three tabs this is all I need and in fact instead of showing that I'll have let's insert a new tab a new um new shape here and we'll make it an arrow I suppose all right so that's my arrow we'll put it down at the bottom where there might be a next button and we'll give it a, a new color orange color so it stands out all right, so now here in this one, on my on click show, it's this arrow now instead of instead of uh, the next. We would just put the next one in next button in place of the arrow, and um, it will now show if this variable contains all these letters, right? 
and on click it will do that. You could have it on click or if you had a had an audio being played on click, you could say at end of audio um, do this action show arrow if all these variables uh, or if this variable contains all those letters. Okay, so then uh, we want to make sure that the arrow is initially hidden on show. And so now we just go ahead and copy control C or copy that action and paste it at the bottom. Make sure that it's pasted at the bottom of each one of these button actions action groups or strings, action strings, I guess you call it, functions. So now when I view the page, let's go ahead and view it. Okay, um, oh, excuse me, I m missed one thing um, with this. This group needs to also be hidden because anything in any group inside another group doesn't inherit the same uh, traits as the uh, the parent group or the group above it. So in this case, we need to go through and hide all these subgroups. Just take me a second here. I'm using my trackpad at this point, so it's not as quick as I'd like it. <laughs> okay. All right, now let's view it. Okay. Allow block content. Okay, so now we only see the three tabs. And then when I click tab three, two, then one. Now we have that arrow showing up and uh, that that's in proxy of the, the next button. So that next button or this arrow that I'm showing could do any any sort of action that you want it to have happen. So uh, that's how you lock down a page in the Lectora interactions. And uh, thanks for listening and have a nice day.